Well guys, uh, right now I'm going to explain to you about how to calculate minor arc or major arc is the same thing an arc and uh, the area of a sector so we, in here we have a problem where we have a circle with a radius of 7 cm and then what you need to do for number 12 here is calculate the minor arc length of JK so in here what minor means that it is the small one so actually we have two arcs of JK which is this one here and this one here the big one so because it says minor arc, so you do this one here. So the basic concept of how to calculate arc is like this. We know that this uh, full turn of a circle is 360 degree, right? So uh, when we want to calculate the arc here, notice that the arc is part of the circumference of the circle. So whenever you want to find out the arc length of a circle, it means that you have to multiply something with the circumference of the circle, circle, right? So because this is part of, uh, of the circumference, so what you need to do is just to compare the the angle which the arcs have with the full circle. Because we here we have 60 degree, right? And then the full, the circumference here is when we are calculating the arc when it's 360 degree, right? So it's 60 over 360 times the circumference. And then we know that the circumference is pi d or 2 pi r. Uh, before we do that, uh, an easier way to, to solve this is you uh, you simplify fraction, okay? So when you want to simplify fraction, it's quite easy. If you have zero in here, just cancel that. And the 6 and 36, you can just cancel that 1 over 6. So it's the same thing like 1 over 6 times the circumference, I'm going to use 2 pi r, so 2 pi r. Okay, next thing to do is, because the uh, r, the radius is 7, and it's, it's divisible by 7, so you use the pi is equals to 22 over 7, so it's 1 over 6 times 2 times 22 over 7 times 7. Okay, whenever you do a calculation like this, uh, fraction you can cancel the numerator with the denominator you can cancel like this right so 7 with 7 so it's 1 and 1 and the next thing is 6 here with 2 so it's 1 is 3 right so what you need to do is just times it 1 times 1 once times 22 times 1 is equal to 22 over 3 times 1 equals to 3 centimeter so I just I suggest that you use a fraction here but it doesn't mean that if you answer using a decimal it's not okay but it's, it's still okay so you can just use like 7 over 3 centimeter or 7.33 centimeter okay as for the second one uh, calculate the minor sector j okay okay j okay oh we have another minor sector so uh, minors so, so we have minor major the minor one is this one here and what and the major one is the big one so it's like a slice of pizza actually so when you want to find this this is actually a part of the area of the circle so uh, the concept is still the same uh, previously when you calculate an arc you times it with the circumference because arc is the part of the circumference but in this uh, in this case the sector is a part of the area so you do the same thing but this time you multiply it with area because we know that the uh, the angle that we want to uh, use is this one because it's part of here. So it's 60 over 360. Great. Right. Sorry. So it's equals to, uh, we're going to simplify this the same thing like this one. So it's 1 over 6 times pi r squared. So it's 1 over 6 times 22 over 7 times 7 times 7. So you can cancel this, right? You can cancel this. So 1. Yeah, sorry, it's 3 divided by 2 divided by 2 is 11. So it's equal to 77 over 3 centimeter square. Okay, and again, you can use the fraction or you can use the decimal actually, but I recommend that you use, say, just a fraction. Okay, so 77 divided by 3 is um, 25, is it? 25, 2, 25, 2 over 3? Yes, it's 0.66 centimeter square. There you go.